Yo, what's up guys? Uh, I'm back. Um, I uh, kind of restrained from uploading because I just came out of prep and when you come out of prep your testosterone is pretty low as well because your body fat gets to a super extremely low level and you kind of have to um, yeah, recover from that and so I had to do that. I slept quite a lot. I still train four days a week, um, there's no slacking, and that's also why I am wanting to show you guys my progression after Arnold Classic, um, how I've been rebounding because I've gained 5 kilograms pretty much, I went from like 65 kilograms uh, when I arrived in Spain uh, to like 70 right now. Um, still maintaining under 10% body fat right now. Um, I've eaten um, at maintenance level for more than a month and my body just kind of like rebounded back into something that it's <laughs> livable <laughs> because it was quite harsh. Um, so yeah, this is also an, uh, a photo that I've gotten from uh, another photographer, um, what I looked like on stage, um, in my opinion. It looks somewhat flat, but I'm still pretty proud of uh, the shape that I brought to Arnold Classic Europe. Um, considering I'm a natural athlete as well, I did a pretty good job, even if I say it myself. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys um, some workout footage, some sets, some PRs, because that's what I kind of wanted to show in this video. It's uh, new PRs actually. So, um, I hope you enjoy the video guys, uh, let's go and uh, watch the first footage. This is me <coughs> benching the 40 kilogram dumbbells, um, they are the heaviest dumbbells I can bench press at home or do any exercises with that I have to use both arms. Um, so I hit um, almost 6 reps here. Um, this was after I started supplementing creatine. Um, I rebounded back up a little bit. This was like the second week after I came back. No, the third week after I came back from Spain. So, next vid. Here I'm doing uh, 46 kilogram, 47 kilogram dumbbell rows. Um, also, third week when I came back from Spain. It was like right when I came back, um, I took some rest. Well, I, I trained the first week and then I realized I needed a week of rest, I took a week of rest and then I trained again the third week on creatine as well and that also made me gain some reps like right off the bat. Me doing some uh, seated dumbbell overhead press. These dumbbells are 27 kilograms each. I was weighing around 67, 68 kilograms. Um, I managed to get seven reps which is also a PR. Um, when you just get on creatine, it really adds a few reps right off the bat. Um, now I'm also progressing every week again. I've been in a plateau for years, so it feels very good as well. So this right here, guys, is the the app wheel rollout, uh, starting from the standing position. I've done this uh, when I was 15, 16 years old, except I didn't like fully stretch all the way out. <laughs> but yeah, I managed to get 8 reps here. Um, this is kind of where I'm at right now, I'm still building it up. Um, it's gonna happen that I get 10, 15 at some point. Uh, one thing with this exercise is put a lot of pressure on like your head. It's crazy, like your head's going to explode. <laughs> Sorry guys, this was actually the video of the 27 times 7. Um, I only did 6 boss time. This is actually like the one rep progression that I made from then that week to this week, it's, which is remarkable because I haven't done one rep progressions in, in a long time. Um, it's not that I'm eating <coughs> a little better, um, I'm getting a little bit more protein and then like combined with creatine supplementation. Um, it's really making me get through a lot more plateaus. So yeah, next week, uh, this is when I bench pressed this, the 40 kilogram dumbbells, the, the fourth week I came back from Spain. 
And uh, yeah, as you can see, I, I gained a rep. I almost got seven reps this week. Um, so yeah, it feels good to progress every week, man. It's, it's insane. Like I've been plateauing for years, and you know, coming in that this that insane deficit for prep didn't help. And yeah, here's me doing some uh, deadlifts again, dumbbell deadlifts with 40 kilograms, um, because I have no other option really. This is the heaviest weight I can make, and uh, it goes pretty well. Um, even this week, I hit a PR of like 10 reps, and I'm still getting stronger every week. Um, yeah, the annoying part is that I'm, in the end, it's probably going to be a high rep exercise for me. Uh, because I'm, I'm only gonna get stronger, obviously, and I, I haven't got any weight to add at home. So as long as circumstances in the world are just staying the same, I'm just gonna have to do high reps on a lot of exercises, actually, because, you know, I'm, I'm maxing out my home gym pretty fast. Uh, it's crazy. And it feels very good as well, honestly. So yeah, here I'm just uh, doing some uh, leg extensions and the heaviest I can go is 41.25 kilograms which brought me to 16 reps uh, last week uh, where I really like hold it a little bit at the top to really squeeze the muscle out. Um, at the end I was in a lot of pain but you have to be in a lot of pain when you're doing leg extensions in my opinion because that's when the quads are really growing. Um, the sad part is that it's limited to 41.25 kilograms, obviously. But yeah, I can always slow down tempo, more time under tension. You know, when you're, tra when, you're tra when you're training at home and you have limited resources, there's always ways you can make things harder. Um, don't let that be an excuse not to work out or to get stronger, um, especially with the circumstances today. It's important to just keep going and keep progressing, in my opinion. So this is another exercise I do, it's called a windshield wiper, um, it works the obliques. Now I've been doing this since I'm like 15, 16 years old, so I really mastered it, even stopping like in the middle to reset the form all the time. Um, that's why, you know, we were all monkeys in the past life and some people, <laughs> there's still more monkey than others I guess. I'm perfect, perfect example of that if you ask me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this, this exercise has helped me well, um, I still do it, but I can only manage like 10 reps each side, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best to progress, but this is also like stagnated for, for a long time, so we'll see. Now for this one, uh, when you get very advanced at pull-ups. I recommend that you just go all the way down and do what they call dead hang pull-ups. So you really like stretch the back fully at the bottom and then really contract hard when you come on top. You don't really need weights on a pull-up if you ask me. Because I'll always, you know, always contract harder when I get stronger and then I just get down all the way. It's so much harder to pull yourself back up. So that's how I built my back. Now I think like, that's, that's the most efficient way, if you ask me. Alright, and then the last thing I wanted to show you guys is my uh, most recent top set of the 40 kilogram dumbbells. I've been able to almost make 8 reps this week, and I'm still going up linearly 1 rep every week, so I'm gonna be gaining for quite some time. I'm very excited to see where this will go. This is the heaviest weight I can make at home, and if I throw this around for 15 reps, I'll be damn proud, bro. So yeah. This one cut off, so it's pretty short, but it's me doing 20.5 20, 20 kilogram dumbbell flies. Initially, I did like 10 reps. But the video cut off because uh, I'm, I'm all, sometimes I'm just lazy. Um, and this is me actually setting up to do uh, hack squats. Uh, you see, I just use all the weights that I've that I've gotten 
Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Peace out. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>